my friend Saliba Farhat brought the concept of PWA to my attention. And after some research on the subject, I found it so powerful and I wanted to share it with you. PWA, Progressive Web Apps, is a way to make any website run like a native application on any platform, mobile or desktop. For example, here on the desktop, if we visit a website that supports it, like Twitter, We'll have here in the we'll have here in the address bar this small icon install Twitter and if we click it Twitter will run under its own window separate separated from the browser. Also if we check the desktop we'll find an icon here. and we have Twitter installed on our device. We can uninstall it from here and remove it from our device. So how to make this functionality, to add this functionality to a new website? In fact, all what we need is just a few lines of code and the images for the icons. To get my hands on with this matter, I made this repo here on GitHub. I will uh, leave the link for the, this repo on, on the description. And here we have a demo version. I deployed it on Netlify. Here we have the same icon to install this on our machine. Now we have our Hello, Hello World PWA running on our device. In the same way, we can run it from here and remove it from our machine. So what we need to do this, we'll download this repo just like this and now we'll extract it here then open it in the code editor so we have here the usual index file with the link to the manifest file the manifest file is the file that will have the name of the app, the path to the icons, the color theme. And we have here this code to register the service worker, which will allow the installation of our app and eventually manage the offline resources throughout the cache. If we uh, get a, a, look, a look to service worker for example we'll have here two routines with comments as 20 lines of code and here the first routine is to install the progressive web application and to add some resources to the cache the second routine will we'll allow to manage the network requests and try to answer them through the cache and otherwise we'll send the requests to the network again. The manifest file will contain a short name to the application, its long name, the icons, the starting URL for the, the app, the background color, the display mode here as standalone. Standalone mode will allow it to run in a window and a theme color. Here it is the color red. And the images folder with the 
with the images of the icons of the app. This is all what we need to make the PWA and to see to see it. For example, here I am running the the code with the extension live server, and here we have the same possibility to run our progressive web application. So this is an introduction to a progressive web ap application. So people are saying that this is the future of development because it gives the power of native apps to the web technologies and to make it run on any platform, mobile or desktop without taking that much space that usually the native application took when, when we install them on our devices. Please let us know your thoughts about this subject in the comments. If you like, you like this video, please support it with a like, subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. See you in the next video.